Hello Pisces, welcome back to the Intuitive Change. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Jess, I am Intuitive Tarot Oracle Card Reader. I am super excited to dive into these cards for you Pisces. I will be using the Archangel Tarot deck and I will also be using the Daily Crystal deck as well as my Wild Unknown Tarot. So Pisces, let's jump in. What, what is in store for January 2021? The Hanged Man reversed. Okay, interesting start. What is the reason the Hanged Man is here? Why is the Hanged Man here? Ooh, lots of cards jumping out for you, Pisces. I'm going to put them back in, and if they come out again, they were definitely meant for you. Whoa. Okay, why is the Hanged Man here? Why is the hanged man here? <laughs> there we go. Wow. Okay, so the Eight of Pentacles reversed. So I'm feeling that this is affecting you on a deeper level, and I feel like you're just going around and around in circles. So what is the final card for January? There we go. The Magician. So this is a very good start. Let's see what crystal energy is here. Oh, there we go. Okay, so the Hanged Man Pisces. This is part of the uh, major arcana focusing on your soul, your mind, your spirit, or any deeply rooted issue. And when this card comes up reversed, you are changing your mindset here. This is a time for you to let go. I feel like you're still holding on to the darkness here. And you're kind of keeping yourself in the situation. You're trying to change, but you're not totally happy. This trump card is um, you jumping from one bad situation to the next without really considering the behavior. And I feel like you're just really reluctant to tackle anything at hand here. Your attitude towards life is going to determine what the universe brings to you. So you have to kind of just stop if you don't know where to go or what to do breathe and wait for things to become a little bit more clearer i just feel like patterns are just not working for you i feel like you know what patterns you're doing and you need to change them but you don't so you need to ask yourself what are you avoiding why can't you confront these new changes or embrace a new change it doesn't make sense so that's why the eight of pentacles is here you are going around and around in circles that's what that's indicating you are so bored that's what life is giving you the hanged man is telling you that your relationships are um going over and over it's all mistakes or patterns that you've been doing you're just rushing into one thing into the next and you're not taking responsibility for your role you're you need to slow down you need to figure out what is working for you what's not working for you and um i feel like it's also a fear of either being alone or having to start over i feel like you just need to confront your issues that you're experiencing in all aspects of your life relationship wise i feel like career wise it's not really a good omen because um maybe you are laid off right now or maybe you're trying to blame others as to why things aren't going well maybe you feel like your power is being stripped from you um, but now is a good time to control yourself take control of your career and figure out where you want to go what you want to do next to feel like if you're struggling to cope financially now is a good time to consider some professional help change your perspective that's why this card is reversed so overall, just now is a good time for you to explore new spiritual paths and engage yourself, okay? That is why the Eight of Pentacles, again, is here. Think of yourself as the spider and you've been going around and around, you've been spinning this web and though there were a couple bumps along the way, it all worked out in the end. The Eight of Pentacles is showing that you are really hard at, um, hard working anyways, at everything that you want to achieve, whether it's money, a house, a job, cars, whatever this is to you, but it's really repetitive. You are finding that you may be a workaholic at times. Maybe you are having a hard time 
keeping your finances at bay. Maybe this is you just being careless or um, you're biting off more than you can chew. Whatever this is to you, this card is telling you that you need to try and set goals for yourself and really prioritize what you want to achieve and it's one task at a time. The lack of ambition or confidence is just not a good look on you. <laughs> so I feel like as if people in your life are not putting in the same effort and that's why you feel like your relationships are lacking. Maybe you feel like um, it's just a board, it's, it's, it's not romantic, maybe it's just not fun. I'm not sure how this will resonate with you, but you're just putting too much focus on work and you're neglecting the fun side of what every relationship can bring, whether it's a partner, a family, friend, whatever this is to you. Um, you have to make an effort for the people so they so that they feel appreciated and they have to do the same for you so that the both of you can resolve any issues that you're facing. I feel like this is not really a great omen financially because it does represent some stagnant job, um, lack of commitment. I feel as if there is some laziness here. So you could be biting off more than you can chew at work or um, maybe you're just trying to find some sort of balance but you are overspending. Now is the time that um, if you are having <laughs> to try and recover from the holidays, you need to do that before you can spend again. So be responsible with your finances when this comes up because if the work is slow, then it's not a very good idea to be spending or um, trying to find materialistic things to fill an empty void. So be clever with what you're trying to achieve here and um, stop ignoring your inner wisdom. Stop ignoring your intuition because you have the ability to manifest anything here. Anything here. The magician comes up as um, your soul, your mind, your spirit, or any deeply rooted issue, and it's telling you that you're very resourceful. You're very smart, so um, you have no problem doing things for yourself. You're able to act, you're able to put it in the external world, you're able to feel it, you're able to think it and plan it. So you can manifest this for yourself. I feel like as if the relationships in your life are going to be moving deeper. You can manifest them to move deeper and stronger and have a stronger commitment. Set good intentions with the people around you. Your partner, I feel, is going to be very serious about you. And I feel like your relationships are also going to be changing on some sort of level. So this is a higher power working for you. I feel as if um, this is a really good time to begin some sort of spiritual development. If you've had an interest in whatever it is that you want to pursue, I definitely think you should do that now and concentrate on it. And you'll be surprised at how much you'll benefit from this change of energy, this change of perspective here. Okay. That's why this crystal card is telling you practice patience. So as much as um, I say that you can manifest anything in life. You need to be patient, okay? Yes, you have the magic in you, but you have to just wait for things to um, unfold. You have to keep working. You have to practice patience. You have to work harder. Be patient. Work for what you want. Be patient and practice patience that you're able to break free from old beliefs, old patterns. You can do this. <laughs> I know that patience may not be your strong suit at times, but you can do it. So let's see what archangels are protecting you and guiding you. What are the messages? Are they talking about? Oh, they have messages. The magician again. Wow. So this purple is a deeper understanding. This is referring to your crown chakra. This is sitting on top of your head. It is telling you this, this is a higher consciousness. This is a higher awareness. You can manifest anything if you, in your life if you want. If you practice patience. If you practice this plan. If you're able to put action into it. If you change it up. If you change the effort that you put into it. If you change your point of view, by changing your point of view and letting go of the things that aren't serving you, you'll be able to accomplish and start to master the things that you 
want or the things that you or already have what you need will magically appear this is successful beginnings Pisces January 2021 looks incredibly promising for you and I cannot wait to see how this unfolds I highly suggest that you come watch this video in the middle of the month also at the end of the month because this can give you a lot more clarity and insight play your cards close to your chest with this one okay this is good health your finances will be improving um, I feel like you're gonna be very self-assured here so your strength is going to help you through this this is a healing boost and trust your gut trust your gut this is a magical energy around you so just pursue it and concentrate and be patient okay if you want your own personalized reading please do not hesitate to message me everything you need will be linked in the description and i will catch you in the next video bye